Hey guys, Metal Viking YouTube here, back with a new Viking oration. Got another review for you today, though this one is going to be a slightly older release, and that is the third full-length album from the band As Blood Runs Black, entitled Ground Zero, put out back in 2016 by Standby Records. And if you are not familiar with As Blood Runs Black, they are a uh, melodic deathcore band from the Los Angeles, California area. I've been around since 2003. Featuring Leche de Santiago on drums, Nick Stewart handling the bass, Dan Sugarman and Greg Kirkpatrick both on guitars, and finally introducing their new vocalist, Chris Bartholomew, who, of course, as I said, handles all the vocals. Um, yeah, this is their third full-length album, as I stated. It is 10 tracks, just a little over 33 minutes in length. And I have to say right off the bat, though, while primarily known as a deathcore band, to me, this album really leans more towards the death metal, maybe even the more melodic side of the death metal spectrum than anything, though it still does retain some of those kind of traditional deathcore elements. Uh, the overall guitar tone on here and the riffs really remind me of the Black Dahlia Murder with the you know mid-paced riffs mixed with the heavy chugs and of course your usual deathcore breakdowns that you would find on any deathcore release. So those are really used sparingly, I find, on here. Um, I also get a bit of a kill switch engage vibe to some of the riffs at times as well. A good example of that is track number seven and Oath, which I think has it the most here. That is probably the most kill switch sounding track on this album. Uh, I really loved the bass sound that they captured here. It's just right up in the mix, but not overly so. It doesn't overpower any of the other instruments, and it has that thick tone to it. And you can actually hear the strings being plucked, which uh, I always enjoy that for some reason. Uh, track number six, Chapters, is an instrumental track where the bass really gets to shine as it's really the primary focus of that track besides the drums. Uh, the guitars play these kind of slow, echoey riffs that seem like something Korn might play. Uh, but yeah, the primary focus is on the bass and the drums, and that's where you really get to hear um, that tone that it has and the playing, and I really enjoyed that song as well. Uh, solid drum work with some good double bass work, lots of blast beats and rolls and fills. The snare has a high uh, snap to it, and it comes awful close to that annoying, you know, trash can sound that, um, you know, I can handle to an extent, but I prefer bands not to have that sound. Um, but it's not too bad. It doesn't quite get there, but it gets pretty darn close at times, I find. Um, yeah. Vocally, we really get a very varied performance from um, the brand new vocalist. You get, you know, growls, you get barks and shouts, screams, and even some cleans thrown in here and there as well. Uh, and you also get the gang vocals uh, that sh pop up here and there. Uh, the only other thing that really kind of stood out to me on here, track number five, All or Nothing, had the 202 mark. There's a section with this slow picked riff and drum beat. And I just love how the bass is just rumbling away uh, underneath of it. And there's a very cool solo in that song as well at the 220 mark. Um, overall, I thought this was much more enjoyable than their previous release, which, you know, I wasn't too big of a fan of. It was okay. I loved their debut album. Their second release was kind of, eh. And then when I finally was able to hear this, I thought it was a definite improvement and I really enjoyed it a lot more. Uh, the snare, while not too bad, kind of detracts me just a little bit from it. But all in all, I think this is still a very enjoyable listen, and I would definitely recommend checking it out if you're a fan of deathcore or even melodic death metal. Uh, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. So, yeah, go check it out. I will try to find a link if I can down below so maybe you can check it out for yourself. Uh, yeah, as Blood Run Blacks, Ground Zero, definitely worth checking it out in my opinion. I know... Finding copies is not super easy. Uh, luckily enough, I was able to uh, pick up a copy off of eBay because somebody on a Facebook group I'm in happened to post a uh, link where somebody had some for sale. So yeah, if you're able to track down a copy, I would definitely uh, check it out. That is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.